Herefordshire has more than its fair share of stupendous views, and Wood Reading Farm, on the road from Much Markle to Ross on Wye, must have one of the finest, looking out over the three counties to Mayhill in Gloucestershire and the Malverns in Worcestershire. Cider and Perry have been made at Wood Reading for at least 200 years. The farm boasts a working side press dating from around 1790, although nowadays the press is only used for Big Apple events. The owners, Brian and Fran Robbins, now use more modern machinery, but the process is the same as it always was. First, the apples are harvested. Using a panking pole, the apples are shaken from the tree and collected by hand. In this case, the apples were Yarlington Mill and Michelin. On the day we visited, Brian and Fran were joined by Mark and Alison, novice cider makers. It's not a, oh, September. So we're doing a Michelin Yarly blend. The Jack Stipple. Edible. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, Yarly and Dabinet are just about edible. Yeah. Not like a pear. Oh, very pear, oh, it's very bitter. Good luck with the content here, see? Yeah. <laughs> no, everyone else did the work. Yeah, a bit more to go in. because there's that bladder there which expands mm -hmm. when I turn the water on I'd expand and it will press the juice out. So. Oh wait, so we've just been filling it during this time. That's what we've been doing is filling, yeah. Okay, rather you and there's no pressure on there at all yet, but it's already just it's already, the weight, it's already just right. the weight of the apples. Oh. I see. 
And sometimes he forgets to put the bucket under. I <laughs> did say about that. Yeah. And, and we won't so, uh, tell you the phrase to go on YouTube that we use when we say, oh dear, we've forgotten the bucket. Yeah. Right, then we've got to put this in. So we can oh, this the... is the cheese thing. No, no. It's, 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 well, not, it's the same it's principle, really but uh, it? yeah, it is. It is the it is the, uh, the cloth. Same principle. Mm -hmm. Same principle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you guys want, yeah, exactly. Oh, there. We go. Did you turn the water off? Yeah, I did. I put that too. Yeah, put this on first. Water's running into, 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 uh, yeah. into the bladder. Into really the bladder. Push it down. So yeah, the it bladder goes. Expands. There's the pipe going there underneath into the bladder. I see. And it expands the bladder. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, uh, four. Is it, how many bars? Three. Three bars. Three bars. Quarter of half. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. It starts coming quickly. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Local pig farmer, pig yeah. keeper who has this harvest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've got to let the water out now. Ah, no! This is where I get soaked. That's it. So we wash everything in there because the, the, the three rules are cleanliness, cleanliness. Okay. The apples that we picked have been onto grass, so there weren't any dirty ones. But if we'd been on mud, we'd have put them through that. Yeah. We could have got a decent wheelbarrow. I we? know. <laughs> the other one's full of wood for the wood burner. That's why. Yeah. But this is really dry now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, it looks like wood chips. Yeah. So in terms of efficiency, we actually can get as efficient a press pretty well out of that as out of this. Yeah. Um, oops. Hence the map, doesn't it? Yeah. And, and our multitask bit of stick. All these technical things we have. Mm. Yes. Dowels and broomsticks. Yeah. That gets done. So that's coming on from there. And I always have a range of barrels so that I've got the one twenties, the sixties and the thirties, so that mm -hmm. if there's some left over. I can always fill a barrel because the one thing you should not do is leave air at the top. Yeah. So you wouldn't, yeah. you wouldn't put the, you know, say a barrel up to there and leave it to ferment. That mm -hmm. would, that it would be spoiled. Yeah. yeah. 
So as far as possible, you know, fill them right up. Yeah. Uh, Got it. You know, so um, it's not so critical during fermentation, but once they stop, then mm -hmm. there is a blanket of CO2 which protects it. Mm -hmm. but, uh, it's produced it's, by the fermentation. By the fermentation, yeah. yeah. But that, um, you know, you really need to keep it for Perry, you've got to be really careful with because mm -hmm. that, that the slightest thing, a bit of air in that, and it, uh, you've got Perry vinegar. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what so I've got the yeast in there. Yeah, what I will do, keep turning these like you do in the champagne yeah. right? And then, um, what you do, once you tip them down and let that settle, yeah. freeze the neck and then that shoots out and then top it up and you've got you to okay you freeze the neck including the the, the, the lump of what the yeast the dead yeast right yeah so what you do that this is fermented once yeah. i put it back in here then i add some yeast and some sugar just a small amount mm -hmm. just to start it off again mm -hmm. so that creates the fizz so that's um that was last year so that's got another two years before that's ready right Ah, so, and then you get the yeast out by by opening it up. Disgorging, yeah. No, you turn the bottle upside down. Yeah. Get all the yeast at the bottom. Yeah. You freeze it. Yeah. And then uh, open the top. It. The ice pops out. The, yeah. The pressure. That. But then, how does the rest of it not pop out? <laughs> Just do it really quickly. <laughs> quick. You've got to be quick. Or get your thumb over it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. We've seen how it's made, now let's try the end product. And this is a perry from a yellow huff cap perry pear that grows in our new orchard. And this is this year's, so this is very fresh. And we'll see how it's coming on. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's still pretty sweet. That suits me. Mm -hmm. It's a bit so, like uh, yeah. the Perry I remember of the old days. Good stuff. <laughs> so is that made with the method champenoise that you were describing? No, this to Mark? Is, no, this is this year's straight from the barrel. Just racked off now. Right. This was made in September. This was put down in September, fermented over the last couple of months and now we're just tasting it to see what it's like. And we'll rack it off and keep this as a medium sweet perry so, so we won't allow it to ferment anymore that's naturally sparkling there is some natural sparkle in it not not much yet because it's still quite young you're looking at the bottle because it's mm. like uh, those yes. bottles yeah, yeah. Like we put it in those you, because yeah. if there's any strength left in it and it starts fermenting this will hold it whereas an ordinary bottle will break right. and then you'll have seen when we were doing the picking and pressing that we picked from a tree over there that was Yarlington Mill. So we'll just try the Yarlington Mill single variety medium cider. See what that's like. Give you a fresh glass because we don't want you. Yeah. This is our lucky taste. Yarlington Mill. This is. You go back to Jean Knowles, and she was. It was Jean tasting this that uh, said, "Well, you ought to put this in a competition." And the rest is history. Yeah, we've got Jean, Queen, yeah, Queen of Big Jean. Apple. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers to Jean. <laughs> so this is obviously much richer, much heavier than the Perry. Um, a lot of tannin in that. Very rich ruby colour, and quite a good aftertaste on the top of the mouth and at the back of the mouth. We are very fond of this cider. But this is last year's. And that's not this year. Just Yarlington Mill. That is just Single Yarlington. variety. Yeah. Single variety. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. people don't believe in blending, but uh, Well we do both we and do we'll both come on to some to people that later. don't believe in mm. single varieties, but, but uh, uh, yeah. Works for us this one. It's a lovely yeah. colour. Mm. Mm. That's, that's it, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The sunlight through that. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Started popping. But this is Jack's Tipple, which is a blend of Yarlington Mill and Michelin and Dabonet. So this is Not our medium side, yeah. 
Not quite as dark, no, but it gives it that bit of colour. Different. If you just look at these two ciders, for example, this one's Yarlington Mill, single variety, that lovely dark tannin in it. A few little bubbles there, the sun shining through, what a lovely sight. And the other one, a bit lighter, it's got the Michelin in it. And uh, that's, uh, that's Jack's Tiffle, named after my dad. But uh, both nice ciders. Certainly enjoy drinking a glass of cider on a sunny day like this. <laughs> and uh, if we look at the Perry, much lighter in colour. Doesn't even uh, look anything like it, does it? Doesn't look like lead cider at all. That's Perry. Lots of people actually still ask, what is Perry? And, uh, you know, they don't seem to understand the difference between Perry and cider. It's uh, an amazing. We've still got to educate people on that one. But uh, <laughs> what, there is a fashion now for pear cider. Well, oh. yes, and, don't. Well, exactly. No. So, and I've no. even seen no. apple cider. I know. Yeah. And they have to say apple cider vinegar. Well, what other kind of cider vinegar is there <laughs> other than apple cider vinegar? But no, you can put anything you like in uh, in um, pear cider. Pear, pear cider. I mean, it's uh, it's. Uh, it can well. It should really be only called Perry if it's um, from Herefordshire, Gloucestershire, and Worcestershire, really. And uh, ideally, it should be able to see May Hill, which of course we can from here. But all the best, Perry. Cheers to May Hill. Yeah. A lovely drink. So you're saying that older tree, the fruit from older trees, is. Well, we, we think, don't you? We, we think, think it's, it's yes. Yeah. There's more nutrients in the soil, and more the tree has absorbed more. It's grown more mature, and it is supposed to be uh, better cider from older trees, and certainly from peri pears. Um, but we've got these. There we haven't got them, but there are lovely old trees around which do uh, produce some lovely peri. But of course, so, uh, you know, you've got mistletoe on all the old trees now. It's a, we just fight with it every year, and yeah. uh, and the old trees. Everybody, if you look around, all the old orchards are the same. Yes, and a lot of it hasn't even got berries on, which is really annoying because you, you can't you know, even sell nobody it. Nobody wants to come and get it just to sell it for Christmas. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's a difficult one. The mistletoe. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm.